What does it take to start a bed and breakfast? And do you have the necessary traits to be successful? In this episode, I'll take a look at what you need to succeed. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. And make sure to hit the little bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. You won't want to miss anything I designed especially for you. Today's episode is going to be the first in a series over the next few weeks about starting a bed and breakfast. Most people associate a bed and breakfast with a Gentile host or hostess, serving guests coffee while they chat about the nearby nature trails. That's a wonderful image, but running a bed and breakfast is often hard work, but it can also be rewarding. Owners have to do many things around the property to keep it running smoothly. These range from simple tasks like cleaning rooms and welcoming guests, to more intensive jobs like fitting out one of the rooms with furnishings or preparing a special meal. Do you have to be an entrepreneur to be a successful bed and breakfast owner? What is an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs are much more than business owners. They're the ones who spot a gap in society and come up with ingenious ways to make it right. A lot of people think an entrepreneur is just someone who really likes starting a business, but in reality, it's all about having an idea that could change the world around you. Entrepreneurs are persistent in their pursuits to fill the needs they see around them. They want to make things better than they are. Continue reading, and I'll go over some of the most important personality traits of a bed and breakfast owner. Right after a word from our sponsor. Question for hotel, resort, inn, bed and breakfast, etc. owners and managers. What if knowing how to open your hospitality property doors post COVID-19 and giving your guests such a safe and amazing experience that they will not only want to return, but will rave to their friends, family, and colleagues about how great your place is, was as easy as cooking. Sound weird? Let me explain. Reopening your hospitality property using the post-COVID-19 action plan. No guessing, no testing, no wasted time. Just follow the proven recipe and make your property cook. Click the link for more information and happy cooking. Before the break, I said I would go over some of the most important personality traits of a bed and breakfast owner. Bed and breakfast owners are considered an extension of the establishment because they are typically the ones with the customer contact. Providing a commitment to customer service, as should any business owner, is especially important in this industry. Starting a bed and breakfast means a lifestyle commitment. Effective B&B owners who are in the business for the long haul, take great pride in introducing guests to the beauty and awesomeness of their region and to be successful require these personality traits. Strong communication skills, an outgoing nature, a multitasker, creativity. What does the day of a bed and breakfast owner look like? As a bed and breakfast owner, you'll wear many different hats and no two days will look alike. That is why it can be a great choice for individuals who love variety in their day-to-day -day lives. A typical day at a B&B. Say goodbye to departing guests. Check that the rooms are cleaned and prepared. Meet and greet new guests. Develop the staff schedule. Plan a new menu. Answer customer questions. Handle customer complaints. Update social media platforms. Manage the budget. Coordinate maintenance services with contractors, order supplies, do payroll, manage employee benefits. Some bed and breakfast owners are really busy and not all have staff to rely on. Some owners will find themselves doing a lot of the work including laundry, cleaning, handling phone calls, booking rooms, as well as cooking. Do these make sense so far? Let me know in the comments. Can starting a bed and breakfast be profitable? 
one can make a living off running a bed and breakfast. But when starting out, there are some things you have to take into consideration. The more rooms available and nights booked, the more income you'll be able to make. However, not every night you'll have every room booked. So try to think in terms of having enough business for the whole year. You have to keep in mind certain regions, locations affect the amount of tourist traffic, making them seasonal. Weather and convenience to other attractions all play a role. Financial factors for B&B owners. The financial aspects of starting a bed and breakfast can be immense. Aspiring bed and breakfast owners should plan their startup and operating budgets very carefully. The budget for initial supplies, furniture, renovations, in addition to the monthly running costs in terms of utilities, food items, and staff wages, can present a significant obstacle for those who are on a tight budget. Every successful bed and breakfast needs a generous rainy day fund in case the furnace needs to be replaced, the roof leaks, or a season is slower than expected. How to attract guests to your property. Marketing your new bed and breakfast can be a daunting task. There are many different ways to market your business and attract guests from all over the globe. They include start by creating a website for your business and make sure it's mobile friendly, has good quality images and a professional layout. Include information about your property's amenities, rates, availability, location, directions, check-in, check-out times, etc. Create an online presence on social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. Use Google AdWords to reach out to potential guests in other countries. Create an SEO strategy with keywords that will attract people looking for accommodations in your area. These are a few considerations you'll need to take into account if you are thinking about starting a bed and breakfast. But this is just the start. If running a bed and breakfast sounds like the perfect career choice for you, Keystone HPD offers your guide to owning and operating a hospitality property successfully course with much, much more information, tips, and techniques to get you up and running in no time. Take advantage of the current course special. For more information, click the link in the show notes. If you are a member of the Hospitality Property School Group, as a bonus, I will share seven things an innkeeper wants you to know about bed and breakfasts. In conclusion, the thought of starting a bed and breakfast can be an extremely exhilarating experience, but could lead to disastrous results if you go in unprepared. Beginning by following the tips in this episode and registering for the Your Guide to Owning and Operating a Hospitality Property Successfully course could help you smooth out the inevitable ups and downs you will encounter as a bed and breakfast owner. Are you thinking of starting a bed and breakfast? Let me know in the comments. We cover more on all aspects of operating a hospitality property in the Guide to Owning and Operating a Hospitality Property Successfully course. Take advantage of the current course special. You can find more information at keystonehpd.com slash course. You'll have access to this episode for as long as you'd like, but if you would like to see all the bonuses you would have access to as a member of the Hospitality Property School group, check out the short video in this episode's post show notes. In the next episode, I will talk about designing a business plan for your bed and breakfast. That's it for today's episode. Until next time, have a fun day. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you sign up for the Insider Tips, say hi on social, and join one of our groups. And make sure you get your free copy of How to Improve Your Hospitality Property Success. You can find all of the links in the show notes.